Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Bridget. Welcome to Preschool Storytime. Before we get started, let me tell you what's going on on this channel. So on Tuesdays at 9.30, we have Babies and Books. On Wednesdays at 9.30, we have Stories for Twos and Threes. On Thursday, you're with me at Preschool Storytime at 9.30. And tomorrow will be the first of our Family Storytimes at 9.30 with Miss Sage. I would like to thank Harper Collins for their permission to read their books today. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time that we post a new video. Let's get started. I think that we will sing a little hello song today so that I can say hello to you and you can say hello to me. I think we'll sing hello books today. How about that? We'll do our little hello sign, which is a little salute like this. And then books will be opening and closing our hands like a butterfly almost. All right, here we go. One two, three. Hello books, hello books, hello books. It's time to say hello books. Alrighty, now that we've said our hello song, I think we'll jump right in. We have one story today, but it is an excellent story and I'm very excited to share it with you. It is The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew DeWalt, pictures by Adam Rax. The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. One, two, three, go. Long ago in an ancient and distant realm called the Kingdom of Back Garden, there lived a warrior named Rock. Rock was the strongest of all the land but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge. Rock traveled to the mysterious forest over by the tire swing where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior. <gasps> Rock versus clothespin, and with a crash, Rock is victorious. Even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mysterious tower of grandma's favorite apricot tree. And there he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy butt. What? I challenge you to a duel, said the apricot. Then let us battle. Rock versus apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. But Rock is victorious. Ugh. I'm smooshed. And yet smooshing you has brought me no joy, said Rock. Are you not entertained? And they were entertained, but the battle had been too easy. And so Rock left the kingdom of Back Garden in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's study, on a lonely and windswept desk mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. And even though he was the cleverest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match, and there he met a large and square monster. I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. And paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, paper climbed down to the pit of office rubbish bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. <gasps> Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Ah, oh, foul wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, laddies. <gasps> and Paper 
wins again. Can no one beat me, said Paper. And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed to the empire of Mom's study. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a great warrior, and they called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She too was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely round monstrosity, she said. I will battle you and leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive entangling powers. <gasps> Scissors versus roll of tape and with a snip. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid waste of the refrigerator slash freezer. And there she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. <gasps> I come from the far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre and yummy breaded dinosaurs. Bow to our child-pleasing shapes and flavors, Swordmaster. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait, they don't. Scissors is victorious again. Am I so good that not even dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so, Scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then, one day in the great cavern of the two-car garage, Rock and Scissors came face to face. I hope you're wearing your battle pants, Rock Warrior, said Scissors. If by battle pants you mean no pants, but I'm willing to fight you, then yes, I am wearing my battle pants, weird scissory one. Rock versus scissors. <gasps> An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately, Rock is victorious. <sighs> You've made me happy by beating me, said Scissors. I wish I felt your joy, Scissors, but I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hey there. <gasps> Those are fighting words, said Rock. Wait, what? said Paper. <gasps> Rock versus Paper. <gasps> What did Paper do? Paper covers rock. <gasps> this is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning, oh great night of Paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one has ever beaten me. Not so fast, Paper. Wait, what? <gasps> Scissors versus Paper, and with a snip. <gasps> you beat me, said Paper. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy, and they became best friends. Finally, they had met each other's matches, and they were so happy, in fact, they began to battle and battle again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this very day. That is why children around the world, in back gardens, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, scissors. And that's the end of the legend of rock, paper, scissors. All right, my friends. Well, we've read our story for today. What do you say? We sing another song before our goodbye song, and then 
it'll be time for us to go. So I think that we will sing zoom, zoom, zoom again because it's one of my very favorites. So we'll start with a clap like this. All right, here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. All right, let's all get down way low and start up those rockets. Okay, on the count of three, here we go. One, two, three, blast off! That was awesome and a great way to get some energy out at home. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let me tell you. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today, friends. I hope maybe you can play some rock, paper, scissors at home with your brothers and sisters, with your parents, with anyone who is around. It's time for our goodbye song. So let's sing goodbye, friends, today. All right, here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye, friends. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. for our first family story time. I hope we see you there. Bye-bye.